Hello and welcome back to It's New. We got a lot of hats. Well, I'm not actually going to hat. Hold on. <laughs> Only somebody just gave him one. All right. Got a hat. Wow. You really give into peer pressure quickly. Yes. I act fast. <laughs> anyway, back with It's New and we got a show for you. Okay. So, Greg, what are you talking about? Are Google Ads discounting the credits given to some partners in the program? And Morty? Yeah, I don't have a good one today like Greg. All I have is uh, Google says, you will buy it here and you will see all of it. And I got, for some reason now, Google's letting people click on a button to turn off personalization in Google search, which is super personalized. Yada, yada, yada. Greg, whenever you're ready. All right, so... Over on X, Ruben D. Rock had shared a message saying, hey, why are these Google partners only getting $500 credit? And then customers are getting emails saying, hey, if you sign up directly, you get $3,000 of credit. Um, it seemed like there was just some testing and some some wonkiness going on, I would say. But Jenny responded and said, it helps inform. Well, thank you. It helps us inform uh, about future benefits. They're testing other offers for agencies. And there's a, a pilot of a different bunch of values, but it's not a good look. The partner program in general means literally nothing. There's zero benefit that you get from it. I guess you get listed on a, on Google somewhere, but anybody can do it. You just have to keep logging in once a quarter. If you want to keep your points, you have to buy one thing like a year. I just bought a little table stand from there just so I don't lose all my points because all the good stuff is gone. So I don't know. You don't even get like good dis discounts. Like people could go sign up for Google ads from a flyer and get a better discount. Yeah. Interesting. Menachem um, Ani actually said that he received a bunch of $3,000 credits in October. So he said it's the most he's ever seen for agencies. So Google, maybe they are testing something to give a little back to the agencies. Yeah. I do believe he's premier partner though. So I don't think that is for most partners. Uh, for the rest of the game. Yeah. We get booted from that. Um, for talking wonder why weren't you like so <laughs> yeah. anti like the whole partner program like for years yeah and then guess what i got kicked out when i made a uh, change.org yes. to uh, go against the partner program and then i made something called agency.partner and i gave people badges to put on to say that they would not participate in the partner program how bad it was and then the partner program got totally restructured and we won but you lost also oh we lost yeah right. we lost everything <laughs> but the partner program did it's a whole story for you. Sacrifice yourself for the better of the greater good. A hundred percent. Yeah. Good. Thank you. All right. Well, if you are looking to Morty's make yourself so confused, I'm so confused. <laughs> so much drama. Great. I never knew you had this much drama before. The ad okay, industry but... has some. The ad side does have some of his own drama. Don't. don't okay. He always says they don't, but they do. Yeah. Crazy. Um, <laughs> well, if you're trying to pick yourself back up and make yourself whole as an advertiser, and uh, offer dating or companion ads. Google now has this whole new certification you're going to have to go through to make sure that like everything is okay. There are all these things you can't do like promote underage dating, uh, exploitive dating, exploitive, exploitative. I don't even know how to say that word. Mail order spouses, all these different things. I think the, the thing that was wild to me is like, you have to go through and be certified. Um, and obviously they're, they're trying to remove some of the sex worker and hook up items from that as well so like if you're in the dating game you have to go through and do a whole new ad certification make sure you're like above the board nothing you spicy. become a certified companion <laughs> no you have to be a certified <laughs> advertiser there's a dating and companionship ad certification application you now have to fill out if you want to run dating ads it's interesting like do you have to like have like they have to trust that you could actually go ahead and do dating ads or just be a certified advertiser in general so I look quick. It's like, do you say like you don't promote under the age of 18? You're not going to use like spicy images. Are you going to mm -hmm. not like glorify? Like, but I want people to click on my ads. I want people to click on my ads. So how am I? How, well, don't do any of that, Barry. You're going to be kicked out. But it's funny. It's like you have to, you're almost like on The Bachelor trying to apply just to run dating ads. Uh, nothing, okay. nothing spicy from you, Barry. Please. No, no, no. All right, Morty, what do you got for us? Uh, okay. Uh, first up, Google Shopping is testing a view all button. This is similar to what we saw from, I guess, Bing yesterday. It's also confusing. Um, 
So let's say you're Googling Nike shoes. You can see like, I don't know, there's a result for men's shoes. You can now see a, a button that says view all. And you guess you takes you to the, the page where it has all of the men's shoes from Nike. That's actually useful, I guess. It's just yeah. a view all. If, if it's going to a category landing page, show a view all button. And Google's had this before, but not like this. So anyway. I mean, it's just in the result. Like it's nothing different, but like it makes you like clear to you like what you're going to get. I guess, I don't know, yeah. whatever. Um, also, Google Shopping Card has replaced um, the popular stores. So there was like, if you Google, I don't know, whatever, in this case, various washing machines or you can, I don't know, vacuum cleaners. You get a little card up top in like the knowledge panel area that said popular stores. Now it says where to buy, which I think is like too heavy hand. Like, like you should, popular places, okay, fine. But like where to, this is where you should buy it. Buy it here. Do not buy it from other places. I think it's too heavy handed, too much finger on the scale, thumb on the scale. I don't even see this. I'm very yet. upset. I like the card interface. I don't I don't really care. Popular stores versus where to buy. It doesn't make a difference to me. I don't know. Uh, but but make here's a question feel. to you both. Is that SEO? It's in the Is results. That SEO? Where to buy. It's the first thing above the fold. It's merchant center, no? No, it's just no. Search. That's hey, y'all, that's branding. That's like you're a big brand. But SEO dirty. is branding now, right? Uh, SEO is all everything is right anything marketing is now is SEO. That's how it's going. Oh yeah, branding is SEO and uh, ads are SEO and everything. I else. just think it's wild that Google gets to say, "Hey, above the fold for the search running shoes, I'm gonna just choose five people. It's gonna be Nike, New Balance, Rack Room, Nordstrom, Zappos, and guess who's out? Adidas." Yeah, but it's, I just don't like it. I'm with Marty. I know, I know, it's no, always their yeah, stores I, and stuff I, like that. But there should yeah, be. Like, I don't if, know. It might be different. I need view more. It should be on the stores. The stores should have the view more, not on Nike, like you just reported. I, or if you're yeah. like segmented it, like local stores, small retailers, big name brands. They used like, to do that. They used to have special like filter by small stores and stuff like that. They used to do that, and they might still do that now. I so, just don't get I don't why they don't kick people into shopping and make it a shopping thing. That's Google the whole knows. thing. I never, I can't, like, I can't understand that. Like, why you don't push them in from the SERP into the shopping thing? What do you, if you're trying to compete with Amazon, isn't that what you want to do? Stop questioning Google shopping abilities. You do it all the time. It's getting annoying. Google no, knows what they're I, doing. I swear, it's if, if they put me ahead head of product, it would, they would be a the biggest money maker. You become head of product, I'll become head of comms. It'll be perfect. All right. You made a guarantee. They don't have to pay you unless you become the number one shopping area in the world. Got it. They don't even have. They shut down the shopping app. Ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to personalization. So a, a week or so ago, I, I wrote a story about how a lot of SEOs are noticing that the Google search results are more personalized. Google's been quiet about it. I actually tagged search liaison. What's going on there? No response, which is typical of him. Although he's been responding on Blue Skies to some people. In any event, um, it looks like now Google's adding a uh, a link at the bottom of the search results, both on desktop and mobile, saying these results are personalized. Click on the, click, and then click on this. It says try without personalization. And you click on that, that will add the PWS, the yeah, PWS equals zero parameter to the URL, which turns off personalization. Google had that parameter since 2009, but Google's making it a little bit easier for searchers to say, I don't want to have personalized results. Click here to turn off personalization. I wonder why Google's doing this all of a sudden. It's a little weird. I'll tell you. Unless, I mean, my theory is that it's maybe more personalized. People are complaining and Danny's like seeing it and he's like, uh, maybe we should give people a way to turn it off. Are, are people actually concerned about it or is it just SEOs? I don't, I don't, I don't think anybody any, like, any major publications talking about it other than you. I want people. my results personalized. I don't want your results. I want my results. I, I don't agree. know. I, mean, I, don't, I don't need a goatee trimmer. I don't want to. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I guess it's nice. Some people have like multiple users on a computer. Like that, that's kind of nice. If you're like, hey, I, I, I just why add the button? I don't, something must have changed. That's my, my why would Google add that that feature? Something must have changed with the personalization. I did email Google asking for what has changed. Why are you doing this? And I'm sure there'll be like no response. But we'll see. I'll let you know. Any event, um, that's it for the it's new show for today. We are back on Monday, hopefully, with more It's New. See you guys. Have a great weekend. And don't forget to check out the search. Um, what is it? What's your name of the SERPs Up podcast? Thanks, Barry. Marketing O'Clock. Thank you. Tomorrow. And 
don't feel free re, don't feel in any need to re- watch my show tomorrow where i fly <laughs> through I, when i spoke in florida i went through 100 slides in like 19 minutes so um same experience <laughs> people are like new yorkers came over to me like at the end they're like that was great I was, you don't waste any time you get through it all and like a bunch of people anybody outside of new york are like I didn't could you, you talk slow down. <laughs> lower please at least on youtube you could slow me down but in real in real world you can't slow me down that's very slogan can't slow me down <laughs> not in the real world <laughs> <laughs> you know they, in the un they have those like think translator things <laughs> like slow the person down <laughs> any event have a great weekend see you guys next bye-bye bye bye